Postec Quick Tips Printer Dip Switches On the back of most desktop Postec printers, there is a row of switches known as dip switches. In shutdown state, each switch has an on and off state that corresponds to the on and off state of a particular feature. We will take a look at how to use the dip switches to enable features in this video. By default, all dip switches are in the off state except for dip switch 2 and dip switch 5. Dip switch 1 controls the printing method with on for direct thermal and off for thermal transfer. Dip switch 2 sets the status of tear off mode. Dip switch 3 is used in conjunction with a cutter to enable cutter mode. Dip switch 4 is used in conjunction with a peeler to enable peel off mode. Dip switch 5 is used to set the media calibration method. Dip switch 6 sets whether DHCP would be on or off. Dip switch 7 and 8 are used together to set the bit rate of the serial port. Corresponding bit rate can be found below. Of dip switches on the back of your device, we can quickly adjust the printer to fit your application. Let's go through two common dip switch use cases as an example. Switching to direct thermal printing. Post deck printers are set to thermal transfer as default. If direct thermal is needed, please check in with the technical support team at Post deck. Next, flip dip switch 1 to on, start the printer, and the printer is now in direct thermal mode. Changing to Reflective Media Sensor. When printing certain labels, such as labels with black marks on the back, we need to change the factory default Transmissive Media Sensor to Reflective Media Sensor. To do so, simply flip the dip switch 5 to off and start your printer. The Reflective Media Sensor will be ready to go after the printer boots up. Thank you for watching. Be sure to follow us for more tips on your post-tech devices.